Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in today. We're gonna to be going over paper space and how to use it properly in AutoCAD 2025. So let's dive right into it. So the first question is what is paper space? Well, paper space allows you to plot your drawing. So the drawing I'm doing today is the floor plan that I did two weeks ago for the channel. If you haven't seen that video, I'll go link it up in the top right hand corner if you're interested in how we design this, then go and watch that. Check it out, it's really full of a lot of good information. Uh, and then come back to this video and let's continue. So one thing to keep in mind when you're doing paper space is you need viewports. So one thing that you should do is you go to your layers here and you're gonna see, I'm gonna click my layers. And what I want you to do and what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna create a layer called viewports. So you're gonna see what this means in a minute. Uh, so just go and make your viewports a black type color. You can make it any color you want, but I highly recommend you use black just because of the simplicity of this. Once you have this done, we're gonna go and check out our uh, layouts and we're gonna go and learn how to kind of put our drawing into our paper space and make it look nice. So in this uh, example, we only have the flat floor plan. Uh, I'm gonna do elevation drawings for this structure in the coming few weeks. Um, so if you're in interested in that, uh, sorry about that. If you're interested in that, please go check out that video when it comes out. Like and subscribe so you get that content. So once you have your view pen viewport, sorry, um, all set up, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your paper space. So you can see you have layout one and you also have layout two. So we're just going to deal with layout one today. So we're going to come to layout one and you can see we already have a viewport uh, in view kind of for our drawing. However, you're going to see that we have a few issues. You can see that our drawing is very all over the place and we kind of need to put it in a way that kind of works so i'm going to set put together a floor plan drawing for this uh type of uh drawing that we did uh and we're going to just go we're going to we're going to put our information in we're going to go make a proper drawing and we're going to go and show you how to size that so let's get into it so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to set our scale for this drawing so i haven't moved the viewport yet but i'm just going to go and show you what some of the problems you can face when you're doing this so if you come here and double click into your um, little viewport here, you can see that when you double click, you go into it and you can actually edit things within the drawing from here. I don't recommend you do that, but you can. Um, but you're gonna see if you come to the bottom right hand corner, you're gonna see this is your scale. So the scale of this viewport that we have currently open is 0 0.006990. Um, and you're gonna see that this number, if you keep your eyes on that, I'm gonna scroll in and I'm gonna scroll out. And you're gonna see that we have problems here. So the big problem is, um, I don't have an actual scale that I'm actually using in the drawing and I can't tell people what that scale is because of this. So one way to remedy this is to come down here, click on the scale and you're going to see you have all these sizes right here. So we have scale to fit, one to one, one to two, one to four, blah, blah, blah. Whatever works for your drawing and whatever your um, whatever you, you need it for. So if you're doing a drawing that you need for work and it has to be a certain scale, then scale it to that. However, one thing that you might come run into if you're doing a drawing is that the scale will not fit on the full view, full viewport. Um, you can change this, you can make it work. However, it's very complex uh, and we'll get into that later on. So what we wanna do here is we wanna come and we wanna see which one's gonna fit in our drawing. So this is a drawing that I did, so I'm just gonna scale it to where I need to scale it. So I'm gonna click one to one and you can see that's way too close up for us. So what we wanna do then, okay, let's click scale to fit. If we do scale to fit, then you can see we get those funky numbers again. We don't want that. Let's do one to 10. That's still way too much. Let's do one to 30. All right, we're getting better. Let's do one to 50. Still needs to go more. Let's go do one to 100. So you can see that one to 100 is actually relatively close to what we want. So one thing that you're gonna notice is that the dimensions on my drawing are actually gone. And that's because the scale for the dimensions does not match the scale for my viewport. If you're in architecture or engineering or even urban design and you're a student of those programs or you're a fresh graduate or you're looking to get into those, then we have the perfect presentation for you. In this presentation, we're going to go over how you can level up your career, how you can get ahead of your peers, and how you can enter the workforce ready for real design work. And you're not going to bog down your employers and you're going to make a real good impression in those interviews. If you're interested in all of that, uh, and we're speaking to you directly, then we'll leave a link for that right here. Go check that out and please sign up and get as much information as you can. Anyways, back to the video. So once you have it where you want it, you can lock the viewport. So if you come down here, you can see there's a little lock, literally just press that and you won't be able to move it. You won't be able to scroll in and out and it'll keep it locked at what it is. So you'll be scrolling in and out of the actual paper itself. So once you have that set, 
um, well, you should actually do this after you do what we're going to do next. So what you should do first, preferably, is grab your viewport, move it to where you want it. So I'm just going to take this, I'm going to put it in the corner here. So these little dotted lines are something you should keep in mind when you're doing viewports, is you need to keep the dotted lines in mind because that's like the edge, I guess, of the print uh, or whatever. So that is your paper pretty much. So try to keep it within the dotted lines. I don't think it's too big of a deal if you go out. However, it's just safe and best practices to keep it within those dotted lines. So once that's done, just go, you can scale, you can scale this as much as you want. So I'm just gonna go pull it down, make it as big as I can. And then you can see that the bigger it is too, um, the more uh, space you have. So I'm just gonna unlock my viewport and can I shrink this? I might be able to. No, I'm just gonna leave it at one to 100 because it gets our full drawing. So once you have it where you want it, again, go and lock it, and that's how you create your viewport and keep it locked into AutoCAD. There's a few other things with annotation and such that you can deal with. So if you come here, uh, you can see that we have, you can add annotative scales to objects and stuff and all these other things, but we're just going to, we're just going to leave it for now. So once you have your viewport set, so I'm actually going to show you how to do another two viewports. So for instance, let's say I want a viewport just on the garage. Uh, let's say I want one on the house, and then let's say I want one on my rear porch. There's not much going on there. However, let's just assume that I want that. So you can see we have our viewport layer here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, hmm, you know what? I want to have all these viewports on the same page for some reason. So I'm just going to come here. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to shrink this to where I think I need it. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to add two more smaller viewports so that we can get a kind of full view of the house. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go and copy our viewport and put it in. So I'm going to just control C, control V, and it's going to load and it's going to allow me to put another viewport in. So then I'm going to do this again. So I'm just going to go, I'm going to shrink this to where I want to shrink it. And then I'm going to copy this one and move it over after I get this more in place. So I'm just going to take this, I want to snap this to this viewport. I'm just going to put it there. And one thing to keep in mind is your viewports are going to have different uh, scale settings for each other. So one can be in, you know, one to one, another can be in one to five, another can be in one to 15, you get the picture. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that the top one is our main home. We're going to do the left one as our garage, and we're going to do the bottom right hand one as our rear porch. So what you're going to do is we're just going to click in for the top one because we already did this. And we're going to unlock the viewport and we're just going to scroll down until we get the home. So you can see there's a little bit of a problem here uh, in the fact that we don't get the entire home the way we want it. So it would probably be better if I took um, the top one and I, I, I shrank it down a little bit. So what I can do is I can just shrink the viewport. So I'm just going to come here. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to shrink it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click in and I'm going to go over like this. And then we have it so it's more centered on our main home. So one thing with this too is I could have left it the same as I did before, which I'm, well, you know what, I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to leave it. And if I drew the garage um, in a different, you know, type of layer system, I could have hidden the garage and just built the house um, and put it in here. But I didn't do that, um, again, because I'm using this drawing as an example, because I used it in the previous video. So we have the main house here. What I could do is uh, I could just go like this. That'll be okay for now. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll come down here to our bottom left hand viewport. We're going to have to unlock this one as well. And we're going to come down here. We're going to go, we're going to center it over our porch. And then we're going to lock it again. And then up here, we're going to just double click. We're going to lock our top one again. I'm just going to lock it. And then we're going to come down, down to the bottom well, right hand one. We're going to click in and we're going to move, unlock it as well and then we're going to just move over to the garage and then we're going to lock it again so there we have our we have our viewports they're all set up where we need them um, i'm going to take this video lesson and i'm going to expand it again in a future lesson for adding dimensions and fixing annotative dimension problems with AutoCAD when you're doing paper space, because that is an issue I run into all the time. And as someone who uses the program all the time, it's still a problem I encounter and deal with all the time. And as someone who's new, which you probably are, or you've been using AutoCAD, you probably run into the same issue as well. And that's pretty much how you select your viewports, lock them, pick the scale you want, and put them together. And that's the general idea of this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to just add our title block. I'm just going to use a really basic one, and then that will be the end. So I'm going to go through here. I'm just going to show you how to create a layer. So go create a layer, layer for your title block. 
put that together and then co-create your title block. If you don't know how to make a title block, we have a video on that. I'm not going to go and recreate it here. So I'll leave a link for that up in the top right hand corner and we'll go and we'll see you in the next video.